Fulke. Are you now prepared to see the stone? Yes. Let us go see the slab of rock. You may find the stone more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacklus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy when you're here. Eid means eyes and ears, no doubt. from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest. one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! It's a stone, Sigurd. You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self, my destiny, my... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here.
How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? We have the advantage. Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this. Not again. Fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Basim. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine, until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. 
Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Etwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Stretch your wings, Sunan. <laughs> Edwin's men, they're after us. You there, what's wrong? Here they come! Quick, men, or they'll wipe us out! Let us lose! I'll kill you! You pulled our asses out of the fire, friend. We're grateful to you. Cast about this land, my friend. Need your eyes, my friend. A 
best not to draw attention here. Hold you. Survey the area, Sudan. That is where you will be if these supplies reach the castle. I have a to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had such so. Those are my goods! 
It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. Here's more than enough coin, friend. Boy, Jesus, you're a better customer than your needling partner. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. <laughs> Weakened Edwin's defense is enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. What do you see, Zunin? The soldiers are close. They're here.
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.